Hi friends, uh, today we're going to read about Maggie and Milo. This is Maggie. Maggie is an excellent adventurer, a pretty good story writer and a bit of a scientist and Milo's very best friend. That's Maggie and this is Milo. Milo is a dog. And this is the awesome package Maggie's grandma sent. It had all the necessities for a frog hunt, boots and knowledge. Country dogs like Milo don't wear boots. That night, Maggie told Milo, we need to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow we hunt for frogs. The next morning, Maggie pulled on her new blue boots which were perfect for this kind of adventure and her favorite dress, which was just plain perfect. And she was off. Well, almost Maggie ran back to the bathroom to brush her teeth, which she had completely forgotten to. At breakfast, Maggie handed a note to her brother that said, please keep the chit chat to a minimum. I am in a hurry. Her brother rolled his eyes, which is apparently how 12-year-olds communicate. Maggie focused. Eating quickly requires serious concentration. Breakfast took exactly 11 3 4 bites. Then she was off for real this time. I am frog hunter, shouted Maggie. Stopping at the edge of the wood, she called, Milo! I am Frog Hunter and he is Milo. Together, Maggie and Milo ran down the hill, past the chicken coop, through the valley of the ferns, and all the way to the pond where... Maggie tested the water, waterproofness of her new blue boots. After, su after sufficient stomping, she announced, Milo, my feet are perfectly dry. That's important. Grandma always says wet feet make for a very long day, which is true. Wet feet do make for a long day. Maggie stood in the water. She waited for a frog. Maggie waited a million minutes. Nothing happened. This was boring. Boring is all capital letters. Boring. Maggie sang a song. She sang about frogs and waiting and blue boots. Milo wandered off. So far, this was not working out as planned. Milo called Maggie. He wasn't there. Milo! Maggie tried very hard not to think about losing Milo or being alone. In front of, in front of her, the, the cattails moved. Milo, is that you? She asked, trying to sound brave. Slowly, Maggie pulled apart the cattails. And there in the muck was Milo and a frog. Milo had found a frog. Maggie reached down and caught that frog. Hi, I'm Maggie and this is Milo. You will be called Alexander. Welcome to our pond. Gently, Maggie placed Alexander back into the water. She had to be very careful. Frogs are terribly squirmy. Milo was, Milo, you are so smart, squealed Maggie. This is a true statement. Border collies are very smart. Milo barked, wagged his tail, and ran to another spot. Maggie followed close behind, and there in the muck was another frog. Maggie named the second frog Benjamin, the third one Cooper, and the fourth one Daniel. See the pattern? After meeting Oliver, Maggie realized all the frogs they had found were boys. That
That was absurd. The world does not need any more boys. The world does not need any more boys, Maggie proclaimed. She found Princess Penelope under a lily pad, holding her newest catch, Maggie said, Milo, there is no way I can think of a girl's name that begins with the letter Q. So Maggie and Milo rested. It's not easy work, this frog hunting. As Milo slept, Maggie sang a song, a quite end of the day kind of song. Afterward, Maggie and Milo walked home through the valley of the ferns, past the chicken coop and all the way back to the hill. Just as the sun was, set, was setting, they heard the most marvelous music. Side by side, they sat on the edge of the world, just listening to the frogs say goodnight. When the last note faded, Maggie said, Milo, that was the very best day. I cannot wait for our next adventure. The end.